Hey, what's up guys? My name is Morden and in my last video I gave you some information about gearing up. Um, but there's something that I didn't talk about it yet, like how do you want to buy gear in practice? Um, now the latest video was more like theory, like showing you d3up.com, talking about EHP and so on. But reality is when you are looking for upgrades in the auction house, you don't have the time to always um, go to the internet, enter all the values, um, check your current gear, compare it, because let me tell you a story. Um, one day I was browsing the auction house, I was looking for shoulders, um, and when I look for shoulders, currently I'm looking for high vitality, high strength, and all resist for example, and then a few extras, but most of those shoulders are wild wards, and yeah, I found a really, really good wild ward. Um, for a 900 million buyout and 900 million buyout are significant like even for me that's a lot of gold back then I only had like only 1.3 billion but yeah it would have been a big investment so of course I didn't just buy it out because I wanted to know first okay how much do I gain from it is it worth buying is it worth spending 900 million gold on it one day 10 hours left so what I did, I went to d3up.com, I updated my profile, did a few tests, okay, um, it gives me this and this amount of EHP, um, yeah, and then like after 5 or 10 minutes of a noun, okay, it's a good investment, let's buy it. So I went, logged in back, I looked on, um, searched for the buy word again, pressed on buyout, or I still had it open, pressed on buyout, and guess what? It was gone! It disappeared. Damn! I was... Not happy at that point, and yeah, the wild one I'm talking about, a guy named Illyrium bought it. Um, it's a Russian guy, and yeah, that's pretty much the wild one. But now, I wasted, let's say, 10 minutes to try to find out if this upgrade is worth purchasing. So what could I have done instead? Instead of going to d3up.com, check EHP, compare it, see how much I gain, how much I lose. Well. You can do this in game. So what you can do, for example, if you see an item on the auction house or you see an item on another player, you can just link it to the chat. For example, I'm linking now this wild war. And then I just um, log back in and I press on it. And I see exactly what I gain. I gain 6 KHP and 1 KDPS compared to my own wild war. So in this case, okay, wow, 6 KHP, that's a lot, 1k damage. And if I would have um, the passive nerfs of steel, I'd probably also get protection um, because of the vitality. So yeah, that's something that you need to check, but it also doesn't take long. Because nerfs of steel, maybe you use it in PvP. And yeah, let's see if it changes now. Okay, it's still 0.0%. But yeah, that's what you have to consider. And here you can see, okay, it's a really, really nice upgrade. And yeah, other things that you need to do is um, that's also an easy way to check, okay, which pieces um, of my gear are weak. So for example, what I do, what you could do is you add a few friends to your friends list with like similar gear. Um, and yeah, then you check their gear. For example, there's a barbarian with, um, he has slightly better gear than me called Detox, the Froba. And I was like copy pasting every single of his items. For example, you can call it stalking, but yeah. Um, for example, I was checking the gloves, checking the bracers, the neck, ring, just a few examples, boots, and yeah, that should be enough. And yeah, then you just click on it and then you can compare, for example, his Immortal Kings versus my Immortal Kings. Okay, I gain 0.4% protection because of the aura resist, but I lose 7k DPS and 3.2k HP. I'm not gonna um, change my gloves for that. And then the Lacunis, for example, okay, I gain a bit of damage, but I lose 6.3 khp. I don't want to give up 6.3 khp for 2.3 k damage. Um, but yeah, then for example, you can see at the amulet, and here you can see, oh, I gain 8 khp, 10 k dps, and 0.1% protection. Now, the life per second isn't counted, but I also have to consider that on my amulet. Um, I gain 800 life on hit. It's also something you have to consider because life on hit is not counted anywhere here. You have life, which is basically your HP, damage, damage here, 
and then if protection which is a combination of um, basically resistances or resist armor and dodge like this is a direct um, damage reduction that you get and in my opinion it values dexterity um, dodge a bit too much because um, dodge doesn't help you against burst if you die it's mostly because you get bursted down in a short amount of time and not because of consistent damage so i think it's better to um, value or resist better even if you know, let's say you have 100 million ehp then the dodge would be better but as i said dodge doesn't help you against spikes or yeah okay can also compare it to my second ring uh, that was the amulet okay and then let's for example take a look at the ice glambers okay ice glambers plus 2.4k damage for 600 hp hmm seems to be a decent trade-off but uh, this case needs to be analyzed so what i'm doing here is okay i'm gonna analyze all the stats um so now um from damage and hp it's around the same i say but then what you have to consider here is socket if you link items like this um it doesn't show socket so what you need to do to make an accurate comparison for this you need to unsocket your own boots and then compare it and now you can see okay i actually gained 7.5k or 7.4k damage plus protection um just for just 600 hp so i would say okay i would take his boots if i can if i could and also you could consider physical resist is generally speaking better than poison resist and yeah last but not least um, the ring here for example it's a pretty good example you can see plus 4.2 k hp plus 8.8 k damage this upgrade is huge and one reason for this is this is not just a quad factor ring but the, the plus damage the part of the quad factor is really high so this especially i don't have any on my gear i just have 23 min damage here so this really helps to boost my dps a lot um yeah and also percent life like this ring is my dream ring <laughs> i lose 0.1 percent protection because the ore resist is a bit lower but and also like arm uh, the strength here also adds a bit to the protection value because strength also gives a bit of armor and yeah if you want to compare it with your second ring you just put, press alt and here the difference is even more significant i lose 0 0.2 percent protection why um this ring has 62 resist, this one has 59. So you are asking probably yourself, why do I lose 0.2% protection, which, which is not insignificant, like this is already um, a decent amount. The reason is that 78 dexterity, like the 78 dexterity um, work in my case like 40 or resist, and yeah, that's what I said before, or what I meant before. Um, like it's basically the same amount of damage reduction in the long term if you have like an infinite but in a short term you wanna reduce the consistent damage that you take and not just um have those lucky or unlucky dodge streaks yeah but yeah here you can see the difference 16k dps just by an additional ring plus 4k life on top of that so yeah that's basically how I compare my gear. If I find it interesting, like the first step is to find an interesting upgrade in an auction house. The second step is to link it, unless you are already 100% sure that it's better. For example, if I would see this link on the auction house, I would need to link it, I would buy it right away if it's a good price. And yeah. Um, that was basically the second part, practical. Always link the items in chat. Always compare them, see what you get, see what you lose, and yeah. Um, keep in mind other people are using the auction house as well and so you don't do the same mistake that i did i lost that wild that i would really like to have now and yeah thanks for watching and i'll be back